Hi, and welcome to our Pixels tutorial on how to download your images in completed orders via FTP. If you haven't done so already, we recommend that you watch the uploading via FTP video that we have. Uh, this first video on uploading covers more of the fundamentals of using FTP, whereas this video concentrates more closely on the specifics of downloading via FTP. And please keep in mind with this tutorial that even if you uploaded your images in order via your Pixels account and not with FTP, you can still download your orders and images via FTP. So while the web download function is very robust and can handle pretty big orders, uh, you will still want to use the FTP method to download very large orders or orders containing large uncompressed files. So once the order you've submitted is complete and ready for download, you'll receive an email from Pixels letting you know that your images are ready for download. And you'll scroll down and see you have two options here. You can download from our website with a link to log in and do so from your Pixels account. And the second option, which we'll cover in this tutorial, is download using FTP. So once you know that your order is ready for download, and we're going to download via FTP, go ahead and launch FileZilla or the current FTP client program that you're using. And once you've launched FileZilla, you'll see the three fields you have to fill in to connect to the Pixels server, which are host, username, and password. And this information can be found back in your Pixels account. Back here in your Pixels account, you'll see account settings, and under your account settings, you'll find the link for FTP. And under this, you'll see the host and user, which is your Pixels account username. And the password for FTP will be the same as your Pixels account. Go ahead and take these credentials and plug it into the fields on FileZilla. And once you've done this, just click Quick Connect and you will be connected to the Pixels FTP server. And once you're successfully connected to the Pixels FTP server, you'll see folders populate the right column. And we'll see here the download and upload folders, as well as we can see these if we double click or click the drop down here on the remote site. So, in the exact same way as the upload folder, the download folder here contains a subfolder for every specification you have in your Pixels account which contains a completed order. You'll find your completed orders inside of these subfolders of the specification they were uploaded to. Here we have two specifications that have orders ready for download. And to view these orders, simply double click to view the order within it. A very important note here is the difference in naming convention on the folders for your orders. As you can see here, we have two separate orders. One has a date for the title and the other has a unique name. The orders titled with a date represent the date the order was delivered and completed. And there are two scenarios in which your order will be completed and delivered in a folder with the date as the title. It will be the case if you upload your images and orders through your Pixels account. And also the other way will be if you take individual files and images from your computer and drag them over to an FTP folder. If you use either of these methods, order will have the delivery date as the title. And the other naming convention possibility will be your folder has a unique name. The only way this happens is if you upload an entire folder of images via FTP. Your delivered folder will be the same name as the folder you uploaded via FTP, and any subfolders contained within it will retain the same structure as when you uploaded it from your computer. So once you have found the specific order folder you wish to download, you can go ahead and double click on this and you'll see the images contained within this order will come up beneath. And then to download these images, you can do it one of two ways. You can download individually or you can download the entire order. To download the entire order, you can simply right click on the folder and select download. This will download your entire order. Or you can go within the folder and choose individual images or multiple images and download these 
Same as with the folder, you can right click and download. You can select multiple images by selecting one, then holding down command or control on a Windows platform and select as many as you need. And once again, right click for download. And also with the individual images or the folder, you can also use the drag and drop method to download. So once you've selected the images or the folder you wish to download, you can simply drag over to the left column and download these to your computer. When you drag and drop, you can place these specifically into the folder you wish to download them to. But if you download by right clicking and selecting download, the destination folder will be what is here under local site. So right here, these will download to my desktop. If I wish to change this, you would need to change this location before you right click and select download. You've done that, you can find your completed order downloaded into this destination folder. Once you've selected your download location and the images or order you would like to download, go ahead and select download and you'll see here in the queue, the status. And once this download is complete, you'll see here under transfer successful, how many we have. And also if there are any failed images or files in the transfer, they'll be located here. Also note that once the download is complete, the queue here clears out. Once your transfer is complete, go ahead and head over to the location of this download that you've selected. So here I've navigated to my download location. And as you can see, we've got the two images from this order completed and ready to go. And there you have it. This is how you simply download images and orders via FTP. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. And please remember, if you have any questions regarding uploading via FTP, to please watch our video on that. Thanks again.